Abby, why? Speak to me, Abby. Why are you doing this to me? What do you want from me? Abby. Wake up, David. It's time to get moving. Abby, I dreamt about you again last night. It's day 75 and I'm no closer to figuring out what happened to you. They continue to point their finger at me and say I did it. And with Charlie missing, I can't convince them otherwise. It's easy for them to blame me, though. It makes sense. They say you two were having an affair, but this is a lie. It has to be. They don't know me, and they certainly don't know you. As they press me and I deal with their antics, attempts to break me and force me to crack, I rely on my abilities to put the pieces together and figure it out. There are moments, though, where I see myself falling into a dark abyss so deep that eventually it will be impossible to find my way back. And as the light fades, I feel the darkness consume me. Let me get this straight. The devil is very much alive, and he's living amongst us. Well, that depends on your perspective. Oh, that's such a crock, though. I mean, don't you think? I mean, the spiritual battle, a fight between good and evil, God, creation. Don't you think that this is just a ploy against us? It's set up by organized religion? I'm not about organized religion. Um, I'm completely about something different, Mr. Jones. Uh, well, first off, Jimmy, just call me Jimmy. And, and also, I, I hope I didn't come off like I was antagonizing. I'm just really curious about this fight between good and evil. It seems very black and white to me. No, well, you or I cannot deny that there is good and evil in this world. There is light and there is darkness. And in between, there is nothing else. It's either or. We as a human race continue to ignore this and have convinced ourselves of this gray area. Well, that's far from the truth. Well, that's very well said. And I, I have Let's take a quick break and listen to the phenomenal band, Old Man Canyon. Perez is right. There is no gray area. There only is or isn't. What we do and what we don't do. Take Detective Parks, for instance. He sits there and watches me day after day after day, like he's expecting me to slip up. Maybe if I was guilty, I would. The only thing I'm guilty of is not telling you every day how much I love you. 
guilty of not doing enough to keep you safe. Believe me, I'm doing everything I can to prove my innocence, but each day has its challenges. While the detectives spend their time playing mind games and hoping that eventually I'll break, I spend my time investigating the university's involvement. Say for a moment that you and Charlie were having an affair. I don't know if I would resort to murder. I've never lifted my hand to another human being my entire life. I don't think I'm capable of violence. I've witnessed enough death in my time to know that nothing is solved by it. And you didn't know of anyone who was coming to visit? How do you think this looks? Are you admitting it? Parks, take a walk. You went fishing, right? You catch anything? <laughs> Mr. Harris, my partner's just trying to put together the pieces. You say you come back, there's a broken mug, the chair's flipped over, and your wife is nowhere to be seen. So you go out looking for her, yet you don't call us for a number of hours. Now, given what you do for a living, how do you think that sounds? I get it. Things happen. People fall in love, especially when they work as close together like you and Charlie did. Suggesting you and Charlie having an affair is too convenient, too obvious, and not to mention cliche. But I wonder if people knew how different you both were. Sure, maybe you believed in the same things, helping others, making a difference in the world, not to mention your faith in God. And even though you wanted to accomplish the same thing, you didn't always see eye to eye. Hello, Dad. Morning, son. You got me on that speaker again. How many times do I have to tell you they may be listening? What do you want? I want to know how you're doing today. Do you feel like company? Do I have a choice? Of course you do. Come on. Your mom made brownies. So I don't have a choice. <laughs> As you wish. Great. See you in an hour. I think the essence of our faith is love. I think where we fall off the rail is when we put our faith in money, in material objects, shoes, cars, television, television devices, um, TV shows, um, news, um, propaganda. Detective Parks and Gaines are not paying close enough attention to the university and their involvement in your death. They have to know more than they're letting on. Whatever you two were working on caused you to keep secrets from me. What was so important that you felt that you had to hide it from me? That you felt you couldn't say something? You don't think I noticed how on edge you were at times? Something must have happened between you and the board of directors that made you nervous enough that you felt you couldn't talk to me. If you couldn't trust me, then who could you trust? Intuition. Hey, got a package for David Harris? Myself for the winter to get warm. How do they know to fly south? Well, it's their intuition. It's something that humans have inside of them. You gotta eat. Come on in. Wanna whip up something special? You wanna invite your friend in and feed him too? Let him starve. It's not very nice.
How'd you sleep? I don't sleep. Your mom sends her love and brownies. <laughs> What's she doing? Your mom? Yeah. Your mom's a survivor. She's not who I'm worried about. Your kids need a father, David. They're not doing too good. This has gone on too long. You need to do something. What? Do you think I'm just gonna stand around and watch you throw your life away? That's not gonna happen, bud. Tell him I love him. You tell him. That's your job. That's your sole purpose. They're coming for me, Dad. It's just a matter of time, but they're coming. I know. Martin called me this morning. <laughs> Is that why you're here? Yes and no. Okay, mostly yes. But I thought maybe we could work on this together, get it figured out. We know we don't have much time. Have you been able to make any kind of progress? None. I mean, I, my mind's not working right. I can't think straight. I mean, I try, I try to put the pieces together. They don't seem to fit. Maybe they're right. What are you saying? David. Maybe it's that simple. Maybe they were having an affair. Don't you dare. What? It makes sense, doesn't it? The secret meetings, coming home late at night. Enough. I'm not gonna stand here and watch you go down that road. You know what it's like when you're working on something that's important. Abby was a good woman. Abby was a great wife. Don't you dare, not even for a moment, allow anyone to sully her reputation. What am I gonna do? Oh. Maybe start at the end, work your way backwards. I've done that over and over and over again. David, you're a bright man, but you're also very sensitive. You can't allow your emotions to control your thought process. It's like you almost have to stand outside of the circumstance that you're in in order to see a bigger, more global picture. I have been. That's what I don't think you understand. I have. How do you like your eggs? We're not going to be able to uh, solve this on an empty stomach. Scrambled like my brains. But I want to stay with you. Oh, sweetie, I know. But you can't. But you need me. I can help you. Look, I know it seems that way, but Daddy just needs to be alone right now, okay? Okay? What, you're not gonna finish that? No, I'm good. Well, you hardly touched it. Come on, you need to eat.
He had a brilliant mind. He had this ability to see things from a different perspective, beyond science. There was something special about him. He had all these theories on life's creation. He told me he wanted to scientifically prove that God was real. Said it would end all war. Can you believe it? You gonna go? Hmm? What? Lock the door on your way out. Hmm? What? David? If Charlie's alive and gone into hiding, then I'm gonna need some help to draw him out. You hungry? Come on, let me make you something to eat. Why aren't you guys looking for Charlie? Oh, we are. Around the clock. Where did you hide the body? <laughs> oh, you guys don't quit, do you? And I didn't kill my wife. I didn't kill Charlie. Keep telling yourself that. You know, your insults, they're not gonna work on me. Ah, that's right, you know the game. So why aren't you looking for him? Mr. Harris. David. Call me David. Mr. Harris, I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here in pursuit of the truth. Me too. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. All right. I'll talk, you listen. So we know that Abby and Charlie were working on something groundbreaking for the university. We looked into that. I know. But it must have been so big that the university got scared and they needed to put a lid on it. Go on. See, if we could, if we could find out what it was they discovered, then we could figure out who killed Abby, who really killed her. And we could draw Charlie out of hiding. Yeah, Gaines warned me about you. Said you were too smart for your own good. We talked to everyone we needed to at the university. They said Charlie quit. They have his resignation letter, so you could toss that theory right out the door. Lying. Anyone could fabricate a letter. You know that. You've been cooped up in here way too long. Hasn't done you any good. It's given me time. Time to think and put the pieces together. I'm onto something here and you need to go back to the university and you need to look harder. Mr. Harris, you're starting to panic because you realize the truth is about to come out. So all of this, I get. If Charlie's dead, then where's his body? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. I don't believe you. You read a lot of conspiracy books. I've even caught that station you listen to when I've come in here. It's on just for background noise. Yeah, right, but you've been here a long time. And that doesn't do someone in your condition any good. It's sad. I think a psychologist would call this post-traumatic syndrome. You know, a lot of the vets coming back from the war have it. It's killing someone. It's not an easy thing to do. Killing two, that must be even harder. Abby?
Abby? You're in for it now. What are you gonna do, run? You try explaining this one to your superiors. Get off the fence. Get down. Get off the fence. David, get down. Come on. David, don't run. David. took my gun. Seriously. What the hell happened? I didn't think he had it in him. Well, apparently he did. What'd you say? Jeez, let me do that. I'm right-handed. Yeah, we'll call it in. Leave that on. Mr. Harris. Hi. It's good to see you. You too. Tea, water? Uh. Sorry to hear about your wife. Thanks. Do you want a menu? Uh, I'm okay right now. You have a phone I can use? Yeah, come with me. Okay. Uh, 
five five five. Five two five. Five one five one. What have I done? This is not good. I can't believe I hit him. And you, you're. I saw your lifeless body. They found you at the bottom of a ravine. Dead people aren't supposed to appear in front of you like that. They're supposed to stay dead. What's happening to me? Harris, Carter, and Miguel, how can I direct your call? Yeah, Martin Carter, please. Uh, Mr. Carter is with some clients right now. Melissa, it's, it's me. David. I need to talk to him. Oh my god, David. Are you okay? Stay on the line. David, where the hell are you? I can't say. Of course you can. Tell me where you are, I'll come get you. No, Martin. No. David. David, this isn't how we do things, you know that. I saw her, Martin. Saw who, David? I saw Abby. All right. All right, buddy. Let me help you. Well, tell me where you are. Henry, it's Martin. We have a problem. Two piece. Those two, who are they? They aren't FBI or CIA or the mob. That pin, they're with the school. That's it. They're sending people after me, aren't they? And I can't believe I told Martin. That wasn't very smart. He's crazy if he thinks I'm gonna turn myself in. What's he doing? Writing, he's writing. Anything else? I have to watch myself. Every move I make has to be calculated. Nobody else is with him? By himself. Single play. What kind of trouble were you in, Abby? What do they want with me? Would you like a refill? You sure you don't want a second cup? It's free. <laughs> Mr. Harris. Mr. Harris, you zoned out there for a second. You okay? You sure you don't want something to eat? Mr. Harris, Mr. Harris. Abby? Uh, 
Abby. Harrison's been on the run since yesterday. A warrant for his arrest has been issued. Charged with the murder of his wife, Abby Harris, he's also been linked to the mysterious disappearance of her alleged lover, Charlie Miller, also from your kid. Police are asking for your help in locating the suspect. Seems on me. The war not Thank you. No problem. Have a nice day. You as well. know that this is not good, right? I could get him a lot of trouble for having you here. I know. I need your help. Anything. What do you need? I know this is going to sound crazy, but I need you to believe me. Abby's appeared to me. David seen her with my own eyes. I know she's dead, but I saw her. She's trying to tell me something. David. You need to listen to me, not only as a doctor, but as your friend, okay? Please don't do this to yourself, please. Turn yourself in. Let your father and Martin do their job. I can't. What are you going to do? I'm going to figure it out. How are you going to figure this out? You, you have to be realistic. I am. If she's trying to tell me something, I need to trust in that. OK. If that's the case, what is she trying to tell you? Well, if I knew, I need you to think back to before Abby died. Did she say anything to you? Did she give you a hint with regards to anything that her and Charlie were working on? No, nothing. I... They were very protective over their work. <sighs> David, I wish I could tell you something, but I can't. I, I, I miss her. I do. But this is not the way to do things.
You know, Abby never did tell me how that week went. She didn't go. She said that she was going to the cabin with you and the kids. No, I was in New York on a job that week. The kids, they were with my parents. What? You don't think? I need you to do one more thing for me. But what about those gray circumstances that happen in the world? What about someone's mother dying of cancer and the repercussions, the ripple effect that happens with that? If God is all this love and all of this good, what about these, these bad things that happen? Because people will certainly argue with you. They will say, well, if God is all good, then why did my mother die of cancer? What, what do you have to say to that? Because that's out there. That's, that's another tweet that I could read to you. I think that man is in charge of man's destiny. And we live in a physical world. And physical things happen to man. And it's not all good. People get sick. People get cancer. People get terrible, terrible disease. And there are miracles that happen. But it's not God's fault that these things happen, that someone gets sick. All we have is God's grace and God's forgiveness and God's love to help us through the trying times and the suffering that we must endure but it's not God's fault that these bad things happen. It is a physical world. Just wanna let you know, I'm pregnant. <laughs> it's man's world, and we decide what we do. So essentially you're saying it's part of the gift of being alive, having free will. Exactly. We're, we're kind of, uh, you know, biting the hand that fed us, so to speak. Um, in, in, in a way, yes, in a way, yes. I'm pregnant. Harris. It's nice of you to join us. Then why why do you choose to talk about God as is that your anchor or is that your focal point that you think that people will relate to uh, because isn't the core of it really what you're talking about is the essence of energy? I believe that we have lost something and that I believe we have lost the essence of our faith. I'm afraid we don't have any milk. I hope that's okay. But we have a specialty of my wife's, brownies. Thank you. Those are really good. I know, right? 
Okay, so you're not the CIA, you're not the FBI, and unless I miss it, there haven't been any alien sightings in the area recently. So, who do you work for? Who we've worked for isn't important. Oh, I think it is. From that loss, I believe we have become rudderless and that we have lost our way and that the only way to find our path is to come back to the Father, come back to the stars. Because in darkness, a speck of light will always burn through a sheet of darkness. And that just is a fact. And that is a scientific fact. I mean, it's obvious. You're not authoritative types. That's apparent. Come in the house, you guys are snooping around. <laughs> that car, it smacks of organized crime. <laughs> How do you know that I didn't already call the cops and I'm just biding time until they get here? I don't think you did that. <laughs> oh, no? What my partner's trying to say is we believe you're more interested in protecting your son than causing him more harm. Let me ask you something, Mr. Harris. How important is David's safety to you? Why would you want to hurt my son? You've got us all wrong. We don't want to hurt David. We want to help him. We know David is innocent, but we also know David is the key to helping us recover what belongs to us. Mm -hmm. I don't know where he is. Hmm. Mr. Harris, give me your hands. Howdy. This is unbelievable. How'd they find me? They mustn't be the only ones watching me. I have a feeling there's someone else. Who, Abby? Who else is following me? I have to get to the cabin. At least there I can rest and think. First, I have to ditch the car. Take it easy. Dr. Milano. Didn't make that mess in there. Think they found a UFO around here? What? The suits. 
car. <laughs> you mind driving? Let's do it. Hey, thanks for driving. I needed a break. You don't mind, do you? Oh, this song. What do you come all the way out of here for? I needed to get away. Traveling light, huh? It's kind of a last minute thing. Me too. Just gonna rest my eyes. It'll all be over soon. And that's the truth. He showed up at the cafe. I brought him back here. He showered, we talked, and then he left. That's it. Nothing else. Aiding and abetting a fugitive. Of course, don't take lightly to that. David do that? Wow. I wouldn't think he had it in him. Look, Dr. Milano, despite what my partner said, you're not a person of interest in this case, OK? We're not here for you. We're just looking for David. I gave him my car. He needed my help, so I did what was right. OK. What do you drive? An SUV. It's white. License plate 223BEA. Thank you. He didn't kill Abby. You have to know that. Then why did he run? Because he saw her. Who? Abby. He told you that? Yes. He told you he saw his dead wife? That's right. So you see. You see how unstable he is. We need to pick him up before he hurts himself, before he hurts anyone else. So any detail that you could tell us could be of value. Anything, Sophia. You in some kind of trouble? What do you mean? The suits. They're following us. Look, I don't know what you're into, but I'm not looking for trouble. Neither am I. What's with the gun? I will drop you right here if you don't start talking. I'm innocent, OK? My wife is dead. They think I did it. All I have to do is prove my innocence. Well, how are you going to do that? I had a plan. To run? Yeah. No. I mean, I don't know. You sound confused. It wasn't supposed to be part of the plan. It's just, they left me no other choice. You always have a choice. You know, Abby would say that? Me, I think it's like a dog-eat-dog -dog world. I play the hand I've been dealt. A wise man once said, you know when to hold them, you know when to fold them. So, what are we going to do about our friends back there? Can we lose them? You can do anything.
geloof ik. This is as far as I take you. Well, you're going this way. And I'm going that way. I just thought you were going to take me all the way there. Change of plans. Have somewhere to be. Hey, chin up. You're not alone. Trust me. I know. Good luck. Thanks for the ride. Anytime. get away take the kids to the cabin or something that sounds like a great idea i just don't know when i can do that right now talk to me. You feared for our lives. Charlie. He had a brilliant mind. He had so many theories on life's creation. I can guarantee you they were not having an affair, David. I have to believe Sophia. So what was the meeting at the park about? Who was with you that day at the cabin? Who, Abby? I have to get there before someone else does. Oh. 
speak to me, Abby. Why are you doing this to me? What do you want from me? Abby. Talk to me, please. You want me? Come and get me! David, pick yourself up, son. The clock is ticking. David. David, I'm on your side. Really? Then where have you been for the last few months? Look, I didn't kill Abby. I want to make that very clear. was my friend. Why should I trust you? Because you don't have a choice. You know, that's funny. Yesterday I had a conversation with this man and he said, we all have a choice. Because I'm the only one that could clear your name.
What happened to her? What happened to her? It was an accident. I came up here to talk to her about a project that we were working on. Things didn't go the way they were supposed to. We started arguing. Next thing I know, I was chasing through the woods. She fell. I didn't know what to do. So I ran. If it was an accident, why didn't you say something? Why hide? We were family. You ate dinner at our table. Chloe is your goddaughter. My life's work was at stake. What about us? You understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. My wife is dead. I don't understand. I don't get to see my children. There's people chasing me, following me, and I don't even know who they are. So you tell me what I don't understand. Five years ago, Abby and I started researching the genetic cause of diseases. Our goal was to find out why certain family members contracted me and others don't. What it what it led us to discover was one common gene. I believe this was proof, physical proof, of one divine creator. <laughs> what does this have to do with her death? We didn't see eye to eye. <laughs> Abby felt that it went against everything that she believed in and what our colleagues believed in. And I felt that this was proof that we can give people their lives back. But the board decided to go with the status quo. Problem is, all that work that we had done, Abby took it and had it away. And when I came up here to ask her to give it back to me, that's when everything just went sideways. Look, I wish it would have never happened. And I wish that she was here with us today. Today. Do you think she hid it here? That's what she told me. But I've looked everywhere and I...
Sophia told me that. Abby appears to you sometimes in your dreams. <laughs> Is it true? David, what? Is it true? I don't want to talk about it. Maybe she's reaching out to you. Maybe she's trying to tell you something. David, talk to me. I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. I don't want to. Look, I know your views on the world are different from the way Abby and I saw things. When are you going to let it go? I don't know how. Sure you do. Everybody does. I don't want to talk to him. He's always listening. Even when you think he isn't. He is. Pray, David. Talk to him, David. Pray. Concentrate. I'm the only friend you have left. I think I know where she hit it. Why is this so important to you? I mean, think about it. You know how the world is. And look at how we treat one another. I mean, having faith is difficult. <laughs> Most people aren't even capable of it. I mean, what if we knew? What if we knew that God was real. You really think he cares? Maybe you're doing this for nothing? I'm trying to do something good for the world, David. And that makes you as bad as every religious fanatic I've ever sat with. This isn't about religion, David. This is about us. People always say that religion is bad. Religion isn't bad, it's man that makes religion evil. The way they teach it, the way they manipulate it, the way they benefit from it. And if I can prove that God really exists, then I believe I'm giving humanity the answers that it's searching for. And I hope that one day that it'll end war and 
pain and suffering and give people what they really deserve. Peace. David. Dave. Where the hell are we going? Dave! I'm just up here. Right here. Lion, son of a... see. What about me and my family? <laughs> don't worry, I'll take care of you. I promise. We don't know what kind of evil these people are, David. What if they'll stop at nothing? Huh? Drop it. Drop it. Come on. to be this way. If what you discovered is true, then let me help you. Help me? You can't help me, David. I can only help myself. Now let's go. Charlie, stay back. I won't hesitate. This isn't the way we do things. I know how this works. Put the gun down. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. Charlie, think about what you're doing. You go down this road, there's no turning back. Don't even think about it.
You okay? Yeah. Mr. Harris, David, may I call you that? Yeah. We are deeply saddened by your loss. Abby was a wonderful woman. She did great things for the university, and her memory will not be lost. Call your mom. There are red flags that come up and that people become upset. But we must not, um, that must not stop us from saying, I'm not taking it the wrong way. I'm not vilifying God in any way. My oh. worry, oh. My worry is, is, how are you? Huh? Feel better? Going to, I think <sighs> not for this conspiracy no. radio. Oh, just hoo. give it a second. Good, good stuff here. Oh, this is real? You believe in this? Oh, I don't believe in it. It's Crop just, circles. It's interesting. And the whole Area 51. Shit. And the, uh, the mafia killed JFK. You're killing me, man. You're killing me. Marilyn Monroe's still alive, living in Argentina. All right, we're changing the, we're changing the channel, all right? So, with Hitler. It's not going anymore. And, uh, okay, good. Wake me up. Oh, man. When we get there. You just... You just can't have one bit of patience, can you? Son, so war. Go. Where's Dad? Hey, sweetie. Oh. You okay? Ben? No, Ben's not quite ready. Give him a little time. He'll come around. Okay. I'm glad you're home. Abby, I may never be able to explain to the children what happened to you. I still don't fully understand it myself. As difficult as it will be to let you go, I know it's for the best. Better for me, for Ben, and for Chloe. Maybe it's time I gave God more credit for who he is. Maybe it's time to start talking to him again. I sure hope heaven is as great as it's written to be. Till we meet again, I love you. Aww.